Hi everyone, Valerie here, and we are back with Sunshine Islands. So hopefully this is the episode where we go ahead and get a wedding. Like, I can't be sure, but it has to be tomorrow. Like, I, could, I can only imagine it has to be tomorrow. Because that would make sense, right? But I took care of everything, you know, I got things watered, I got things planted again. Did a little bit more of the stuff. Today is a foraging day, so we will be foraging. You know me, I gotta do my forage. Oh, do you? Are you? And the sheep? On the same cycles? That'd be really interesting and great if they were. Because then I could just do it based on the sheep. Instead of freaking out, like, hmm. Like checking it every day, like checking the udders every day, like, hey, is there milk in here? And just having her look at me offended, like, what? Why are you doing that to me? I have nothing. I don't think that's how the cows react, but they could, for all I know. Heck yeah. Alright, so so the Sioux Folk sheep and the Jersey cow are on the same cycle. I love that. Because now I can just look at the Silky sheep and milk the cow based on her. And that means, depending on what the weather is like is like tomorrow, I can water my my wheat. I'm excited for that. Heck yeah. Oh, no. I forgot to let them out. Take it out! You're the worst apricot. Like, there's nothing that will make me make me be convinced that apricot's a good person. Or harvest right, technically. Like, are we gonna get technical? But who gets technical in this day and age? It's me. I get technical. You! Take him out! Thank you, Merv. Appreciate you. Little Omelet the Second has to chill inside. She's still just a baby. Hopefully soon she can go out on her own. I would love that for her. Like, she's a good girl. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. She's just a baby. I, I wouldn't put her out just because... I don't even know if the game will let me since she's a baby. Hmm. Interesting. Because I'm really not sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't check what the other animals like to do. Like, you know, um, like what the other animals bring me. I should look that up next time. I would like that. For now, let's go check on these guys. Oh, you, you haven't checked on this in a while. Like, they pretty much take care of themselves. So that's why I'm just leaving them. Alright, everyone's good. But I do have to put protection on ya. I'd rather have protection than don't have the protection. And while I really don't see a reason for golden lumber, like, other than for this, like, I, I just can't afford that. I wish I could get it for free like I could in Friends of Mineral Town. That would be great. Do, 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 do. New friend? No. Sad. No new friends. I need you guys to like me a bit more, guys. Please, and thank you. Hmm, breathing, that's it. I mean, that's a, that's a reasonable response. If someone asks me what I liked, I mean, I do like breathing. I do like being alive. Gosh darn it. Sunny, okay. I said gosh darn it because I just realized that if there's a wedding tomorrow, it intrudes on Vaughn's visit. Why do I do that? Every time. Oh, 
they did good. Heck yeah. Definitely before I forage, I do want to get the stuff that's in my inventory into the shipping bin because it's a lot of stuff. Uh, Axomize for ore. I'm gonna make them love me. And I'm sure there's probably other items they like more, but for now I'm just gonna stick with the food. Because I feel like we haven't really been working on them for that long. Dun, dun, the piper son stole the pig and away he ran. Run! Alright, so I'm gonna do some foraging and I'm gonna do some some shipment of items. I will see you guys in a little bit. I knew it! Morning, Val! Denny, how are you getting married today? You'll come, right, Val? I knew you'd say that. Denny will be so happy to see you. Please allow me to do my farm chores. We are gathered here on this most joyous of days to witness the marriage of Denny and Lana. She would have a veil. I need my water. Denny, do you swear to love and cherish Lana? I sure do. Lana, do you swear to love and cherish Denny? I do. Oh, she's so cute. And I now pronounce you husband and wife. May the harvest gods bless this happy couple. Heck yeah. Thanks for coming to our wedding, everyone. It means a lot. You're so cute. Thanks for coming, everyone. Dum da da da! What a beautiful wedding! You both have my blessing. May your marriage be a happy one. Very happy for them. Good morning, Mel. Do you have a second? I was actually really nervous that there would be a tornado, but thanks to this cooking festival, there won't be. I'm hosting the cooking festival at the meadow tomorrow. I hope you'll participate. Registration will start at 10 a.m. to so be there by then. I will. Then I'll see you at 10 a.m. Uh, no, you guys know what, what he said. We'll see you at 10 a.m. Tomorrow at the meadow. <gasps> Falls on the island. <laughs> Carol. We'll try and get Lana. Um, Lana. Depending on the weather, we'll try and get Will and Lily's next week. Next episode. Look at my babies. My crops. I love my crops. And my animals shouldn't hate me because they technically had food. Are they taken care of? Hmm. I want to look that up. Like, are the crops and stuff taken care of when I'm away for the wedding? Because food should have been gone, right? Huh. Anyway. Uh, depending on the weather for... So, with Lily and... Wills, they have to... It has to be a certain weather. And that weather has to be... Rainy or snowy. So it has to rain. It hasn't rained since the start of summer. Like, it, it hasn't rained at all, actually. Right, I wanted to do that. I knew you wouldn't be ready. But, like, I don't recall it raining in this game. Not this game, but in this season so far. Like, it's, a, it's been an enigma. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of curious. Okay, so the baby ate, which, you know, that's not a bad thing. Just glad someone ate. Hey. 
And look at all the eggies. Oh, what I was, um, I meant to say this, but obviously the wedding distracted me. We recalled that we, we knew that was going to happen. I, when I was looking up the wild animals, I learned, so you can give them, like, different foods. And some of the foods are obviously a better price than the others. What I learned, though, is that the monkeys, they give um, building materials and can give a ch get a chance to get golden lumber. I did not know that. So, I think after I run out of uh, mice feet. Oh, I'm trying to get the cat. I'm going to work on the monkeys. Like they, they also like fruits to quicken their affection towards me. Obviously, I don't have the banana tree ready, so that's not happening. But what I can do is whenever I milk the Jersey, Jersey cow, because it's not, I don't think she gives S-class milk yet, does she? No, uh, well maybe. Um, taking only one from her, so that way every few days I can give the my something a little bit more high value, I, I'm gonna start doing that. And when I eventually get bananas, I'll, I'll definitely do that for the monkeys. But, so that's my goal. As much as I would like to go ahead and befriend the sparrows and everyone else, I'm not going to. Is there no more? Oh, there you guys are. I was wondering, hey, where are you guys? But, um... Yeah, because that just makes sense to me. Especially if they give building materials. I need building materials. Why am I... Like, not working on those? Value, silly girl. Yes, please. Move. Everyone takes a turn. Everyone always gets at least once. And everyone gets a break. It's definitely this is definitely different from how I used to do Friends of Old Town. No, wait, nope, nope. I was a tyrant in Friends of Mineral Town. They worked endlessly to the point that my brother had to get involved. I, there was a union meeting and everything. But nice, nice. They're, my babies are going to be okay. Perfect. Um, I do still have an eye on, like, my bananas and stuff because, like, so definitely maybe in the next two episodes for this, we might start seeing some stuff for the banana tree at the very least. Like, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm, oh, wait, I have to. I have to make the milk into cheese. It also wants on the island. I have to go say hi to Vaughn. If I don't say hi to Vaughn, I will explode. Dancing in my little seat because I'm so excited to see him. And they like this, so... Very excited to give it to them. Pardon me, I must go. I have to go. I must. Well, I'll I'll come back for Vaughn. I'll come back for Vaughn. I'm a little busy here. No, I'm gonna go see Vaughn. We're gonna go see him. My love. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known that was gonna happen. Why did I not? Ugh. I knew I should have used him for last. Vaughn! You're right, folks do need to leave you to your business. But I'm going to be marrying you next season. So your business is my business. Thank you for understanding. Mwah. Anyway. I can't, so definitely that's just, like, as I mentioned before, that's going to be my goal. It is the monkeys and the mice. I need them to work and do stuff for me. 
I got really excited. I thought it was adamantite, but deep in my heart, I knew it was not. Because adamantite's like blue in color, right? Now, do I just put it in just like this? Like. Okay. Nice. Hopefully, they like it. Because, like, let, let me show you what they're at right now. Like they are at six hearts, and we have all we we have all twenty as our friend, so I just need to, you know, get them going, and that will be make me very very excited. Is the leader here? Where's the leader? I want the leader. Where is the leader? Would they be on Volcano Island? Do they just chill there? Greetings, Lily. Well, what's wrong? I thought it would be rude not to come say hello. You're too dutiful. Lily, what brings you to Volcano Island? It's to find treasure. Volcano Island definitely has its share. I see. I've heard valuable ore is in abundance here. I want that too, but it's not what I'm looking for. This island must have, have an even greater treasure hidden somewhere. I don't care how much danger I have to go through to find it. I'm rather upset about you putting yourself in harm's way. I'm well aware of the dangers. You can't be a treasure hunter if you're afraid of every little thing. Lily, if anything were to happen to you, I would be deeply saddened. Why would that be? You're precious to me, Lily. Oh! You're one of the few friends with whom I feel at ease talking to. That's the first time anyone ever said it to me. You really are weird, Will. Oh. <laughs> but I like you. It's quite an honor that you think of me like that. Then, as your friend, let me ask you to stop doing such dangerous things. Alright, I promise I won't do anything dangerous. Promise me. Really, please take care. Ah! Twas adorable! Where's the mice? Good morning. Yes. Ready in here? Very interesting. I wasn't expecting to get the arrival event. Then again, I, I rarely ever come to Volcano Island. I haven't in a while, just because, like, you know, I've been too much of a coward to come back here. I'm looking for the boss. The boss shows up every now and then. He'll, he'll show up when he shows up. Let's go to our... Our piggy. Our little baby. She wants us. She misses us, I'm sure. Hello, you. Don't run away from me. I love me love you. Thank you. Is that too much? But all right. We are done here, guys. Next episode will be the last episode of the week. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the last episode for Friends of Mineral Town. And then I can use that time afterwards to just get not only Friends of... Not Friends of Mineral Town get my time of Quartia situated, like, you know, with maybe some icons, but also uh, make sure I have a week of this game to go off of. So very excited. Lots of good things are happening. And yeah, I'm done here, guys. Thank you. What? Oh my gosh, I didn't feel this. Silly me. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,